Hey there, how's it going? Well, good morning and welcome to Backyard Bible. I'm, I'm sorry I wasn't quite ready for you yet. I, I was just getting back from the mailbox. Uh, turns out I was mailing my taxes, my state taxes. Yeah, yeah, I, I, I mail my state taxes off. Well, yeah, I, I, I do transmit electronically my federal taxes, but my state taxes I mail because the software that I use for federal taxes is free um, to send off, but the, uh, the state taxes, they charge me $20 and I'm cheap. So I'd rather pay $1.20 in postage than $20 to send it off to the state. Let me, let me hang this up and I'll, I'll be right with you. All right, let me go hang up my coat, I'll be right with you. Well, that's much better. Well, yeah, I was out paying my taxes and I, uh, I mailed them off because, again, I'm, I'm cheap. Nobody likes paying taxes. Nobody ever has liked paying taxes. But it's necessary to pay our taxes. It's very important. Um, our government does support us in many, many ways uh, in, in areas that we can't support ourselves. National defense, economic um, adjustments and things, maintaining our, our capital, um, interstate highways, all those very large projects, initiating programs that normally would not be affordable to initiate in the open market, such as solar power and wind power, things that really don't have a payoff for quite some time, but that early investment will make all the difference. The space program, a great example. A lot of the technology we have today is a result of the space program um, during the 60s and 70s. They're not as good at doing social programs. That's where charities come in. Back in Jesus' time, people complained about taxes all the time. They were pretty much upset with taxes. And we have that perspective from our biblical uh, view, and because the people in Israel were actually overtaxed. If you look at most of the Roman Empire, the um, uh, duchy kingdom, the small kingdoms in the Roman Empire had to pay taxes. And as long as they paid their tribute, Rome protected them and pretty much stayed off their backs. Well, if you look at their tax rate, it's actually lower than ours today. They were paying a much lower tax rate than we are in most of the Roman Empire. The exception is Israel. In, uh, in the times of Jesus, the people in Israel paid way more taxes than anywhere else in the Roman Empire. Not to Rome, though. Their Roman taxes were the same, but they did pay taxes to Herod and all of his building projects. He wanted to impress the Romans, but he also uh, overtaxed his people to make sure he had enough tribute to give to the Romans and always stay on their favorable side and to do all the necessary bribes to keep people off his back. Both Herod the Great and his children uh, did the same thing. Additionally, there was a temple tax. So 10% had to go to the temple, and there was special coinage for that. So the people of Israel were taxed very heavily. But when asked about taxes, Jesus said, Render unto Caesar that which is Caesar's. In other words, it isn't wrong to pay taxes. Taxes are important. Give them the taxes that are due, but also make sure that you pay forward to the church, that you make sure that uh, what you pay to God is the things that God deserves. And uh, it's very important to support your church because they are far better at enacting the social services than the government is. All of the handouts the government makes very, very inefficient use of money because they have so much over, um, uh, oversight and so many people being paid. Whereas volunteer organizations, churches, mosques, synagogues, the Elks, um, uh, the American Legion, and so forth, all of those organizations pretty much are volunteer and therefore the majority of the money and resources goes toward the service that needs to be provided. That's the reason you used to get deductions on your taxes government realized that they were not very good at doing social programs. And that's what churches and these other organizations are for. If we don't support them, the true basis of social programs will collapse and we will depend upon the government. And if you do that, you're giving up a large percentage, probably 60 or 70 percent of the resources going toward that social program will never make it there 
because it's all tied up in the bureaucracy. Sorry for the heavy-handed uh, speech today, but I just wanted to remind everyone that while it is tax season and we are supporting our government and all the programs that we benefit from, we need to not forget our church as well. So if you do get a refund, make sure you tithe off of that. If you don't, make sure you don't stop supporting your church, whether it's the church that I belong to, Beverly Presbyterian, or wherever you happen to go, make sure that you are supporting them. It is very, very important. Let's pray. Dear Lord, watch over all of us. Help us to get our taxes in on time and help our government use those monies wisely and frugally so that we can all benefit. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. And until next time, that was Backyard Bible.